All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. So today is Friday, and that means that we are using Despots. And if you guys are getting kind of sick and tired of the decks on Daily Duels at this point, do not fret, because uh, we are going to be doing a, a new lineup, sure enough. Uh, there's a suggestion video up, and you guys go there, suggest the decks, take the decks, slap them in the polls, and, you know, hopefully we go ahead and give a, a new lineup of decks for Daily Duels for the next month. Pretty much how it's gonna go down uh, every month for uh, daily duels, which is totally fine. It's totally fine. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to play the MST, but just because I opened up complete ass, and yeah, more ass, more ass. I got this trans modify. I got this fucking Despot Seven. I can't do shit with nothing. I got this fucking machine duplication. All I need is just one Despot that I can just normal summon. Like, wow, am I literally just gonna lose this duel because I literally have nothing to play? Oh, it was twin twist for the entire time. How ironic that it was that. You know, all I all I had was some back row hate, and you were like, "No, nah, let me play the true back row hate, a twin twister." Like, don't worry, it it was nothing. Wow, and you're about to go off with the freaking clown engine. I have literally nothing to duel you against. Like, it's it's about to be over. It's about to be over. The before majors are gonna jump me. I'm gonna lose, and uh, it's not even gonna be entertaining to say the least. I I mean, I apologize, people. I mean, can't do shit right now. You know. Expensive ass Minerva, fucking hell of expensive. Oh, and of course he knows two light swords to get some draws. Like it's just, it's just ass right now. Like my hand is just ass right now. Anyway, uh, usually I don't really get to tell you guys uh, what's going on in my life that often, just because not a lot of things happen. Oh, so he's gonna play zombie and we'll make a mole zombie so Mizuki can revive anybody. Okay, and then of course now since they're all zombies through the uh, zombie world, it doesn't even matter if you a zombie, you know, like you can't attack. Oh my god. Alright, I know there was a jump there. You didn't miss anything. He 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 gave me. I, I had nothing he gave me. So yeah. Anyway, that was my cousin calling. Uh we're gonna go ahead and meet and get some uh frozen yogurt because he wants to. Like, okay, sure, why not? Uh, anyway, what was I talking about? I can't even remember what the fuck I was talking about. Uh, yeah, I actually did something on Thursday. Thursday was actually a pretty busy day. I was trying to kill multiple birds with one stone. I was trying to get everything done, uh, just trying to, uh, pretty much wrap up the semester. Uh, this is the one that when it's special summon, I can add a despot monster, so, uh, am I able to set up my scales? Yes, I am, so, I guess I'll go ahead and set up my pendulum scales. I don't like my despot sick, so, I guess I'll go ahead and play him, and despot... Fuck, she's not that great either. Like, these upper level despot monsters are really not that great. You change the battle position of, of, of must on field. You know what, maybe I'll go ahead and pendulum summon you, just to put you in attack mode. Just to see who you are, I guess? i go ahead and Foolish and send Despot 1, because I would like Despot 1 in the graveyard. So, uh, when I do my Despot 4 plays, I can go ahead and summon it back and do all of that. I mean, I'm about to Pendulum Summon 2, so, uh, Despot 1 should go off. So yeah, multiple stones. Like, it's literally the other semester. I'm trying to wrap everything up, trying to get everything done. You were Special Summon. I guess you can go ahead and change the battle position or something. So, I guess, sure, why not? And then Despot 1, I did Summon 2, so... Unflip you, and despot one. Go ahead and summon you, and you should you should be nice and beefy. Yeah, you're 2,500. Like, holy crap! Uh, go ahead and get me. Is there any synchro summon plays that I can do? Hmm. Uh, one, two, three, nine. Wow, I could trish him. Oh, that's so dirty. I could trish him. Oh, that that would be beautiful. I mean, trishing my opponent right now that would be not bad. Um, think about maybe just grabbing Deathbot 4 in case shit hits the fan. It's because Deathbot 4 can pretty much run over anybody and then give me my synchro plays back. So, this guy, just is when your opponent occurs and a direct attack, he... So you just played him just to play him? Because I really don't see a threat of him right now. So, yeah, I can totally Trish you, I can Yazi. Going against super heavy, so... Trishing wouldn't be terrible. Oh so, yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. You guys have got all your worth, so I'll go ahead and put you back to the extra deck and use you later, Trish. So, starting it off, uh, I had to meet my uh, my counselor at the community college. That that pretty much had to be done. Damage from hand? Sure. Alright, you do it randomly for me. Was that Grand Mole? That was Grand Mole. Wow, then it's the Grand Mole, so he doesn't fuck up my Trish. Like, mwah, beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> 
I say, do you have another one? Oh no, you just have fucking Rainbow Karibo. Like, that's fine. You can have that. That ain't what I'm at. You wanna block my Trish from attacking? I do not care. I do not care at all. <laughs> so I had to see my uh, community college counselor. Uh, I'm pretty much oh, done with my associate's degree. Uh, moving on to getting you know, my bachelor's in teaching and education. For those of you who like, wait, what, what are you majoring in? Sec secondary education. I wanna be a teacher. So, yeah, that's good. This guy only gets the fact that he's normal summon. I can go ahead and get my search on. So, you know what? I'll go ahead and normal summon you because I can pendulum summon you. No, calm down. Uh, go ahead and get me death spot five, so I can pendulum summon death spot five. Oh no, never mind. Pendulum summon, just special summon. I forgot I special. I thought I got the search. Death spot two searches, just about three special summons from the deck. So I guess I should have searched. For, I guess I should have got death spot two search and then pendulum summon. It's fine. Whatever. I skipped a step, but it's it's still all good. So pop that rainbow creepo. Then we will go ahead and pendulum summon. I guess I'll go just pendulum summon in death spot six. Kind of want to hold on to four in case shit hits the fan. You know, right now we're still pretty okay. So death spot six. Go ahead and flip him in attack mode for me, because we all know that they got like nothing for <laughs> for uh, attack. So that's that's good. <laughs> So, what's going to be target one death spot monster you control against? I'm going to attack defense for each death spot. Is a card I control or a monster I control? Alright, he's just going to skip it up. Yay! Better hand! Better duel! <laughs> he kind of did nothing. He was really defensive in this duel, so. Alright. Uh, anyway, be right back. Ah, anyway. Uh, so, you know, I got to make preparations to go ahead and move on to a university. No more community college for me, which is fine. It's fine. I'm, I'm pretty much good. I'm ready to move on and. Move on with my education. Ooh, Shard of Reed. That, that is definitely something that's tempting the MST. Wow, and you didn't even give me any monsters to fucking come after you with? Like, oh, that's just great. I just hard. I just hard. This, this card bows an opponent's monster. Nope, it's only by an opponent's monster. That sucks. You know what? I'll go ahead and summon Death Bot 4. I'll poke you for 400. Oh my god. Oh my god, once again. That was my dad. I, I, I can't answer the phone. I'm busy right now. I swear to God, my I already talked about this. My freaking family. Like, why does everybody want to talk to me? Like, leave, I'm busy right now. Leave me alone. <laughs> hey, what's next? Mom's gonna call. Like, I, I'll talk to you later, Dad. I'll, I'll, I'll call you right after I'm done with this video. Like, holy shit. Huh? Parents, right? Just family in general. And it's always and it's only when I want to record. Only when I want to record. If I'm not if I'm not in, if I'm not recording, then it's fine. But when I want to record, no, nah, no. Nah, here we go. Here come the phone calls. Ugh, Magic Specters. Um, I can beat Magic Specters. Just not the easiest of duels. You know, especially since he if he's gonna set up his pendant scale. Like if he sets up his pendant scale, I'm just gonna get wrecked. So. I'm gonna set up that pendulum scale, set up that pendulum scale. I think I'm gonna go ahead and MST the, uh, like, really? Shard of Greed in Magic Specters. Like, why? Like, get rid of that for me. Ah, uh, he has Frog, so it doesn't even matter, but at least I got rid of Luster. Yep, Pendulum Summon. And then what, Sync 7, or are you just gonna come after me? Like, really, you're gonna come after me? Do you, like, do you not even know what my freaking Death Spot 5 does? Like, he's a fucking monster. So, yes. Um, how strong are you? 12. Hmm. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and send Death Spot 5. And Death Spot 5, go ahead and activate. Go ahead and send me Death Spot 8 and Death Spot 5 from my graveyard. And Death Spot 5, go off once again and uh, shatter his scales. Like, no, 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 no. You don't come after me, man. By uh, what? You're gonna attack into my freaking Death Spot? Oh no, you're gonna kill my Death Spot 8. That's fine. I'll go back to Death Spot. Like, I'm good. Oh, it's fine. It's totally fine. And then I can go ahead and just run you over with Death Spot 4. Send Death Spot 5 again. Summon Death Spot 5. Ooh. I can go ahead and send Death Spot 1 with Foolish. That's not bad. Like, Death Spot 4 is probably my favorite Death Spot. If, you, if you're gonna ask me, which one is your favorite Death Spot? 4? Because 4 puts in that work. Like, 4 just has so much synergies with everyone. Like, Death Spot 4, you are a hero, man. 
so I'm gonna kill you. Yes. If I have to make death spot, send death spot five again. Death spot five, go. I mean, death spot four, send that death spot five and death spot one. Like, it is all good in the neighborhood. And you go off. I want to. I don't want him to get shot. I don't want him to get shot. I was thinking about maybe breaking the scale, but I can. I can go into infinity right now, so it's all good. So yeah, I had to go and uh, see my counselor. Oh, I can go into beast. I can go into beast and I can go into infinity. That is so fucking good. Hell yeah, beast and infinity. Like GG, you fucking lose, magic sectors. You lose to the death spot. Yeah. You know I'm going to Nova, Infinity, turn this into a beast, Infinity plus beast against Nagy Spectre, suck and shake my goddamn hand, get that top tier shit out of my fucking face, nigga. Alright, we'll go ahead and get another duel. And I'll try to finish what I was talking about, be right back. Alright. So, I have to go see my counselor for community college to go ahead and move on to university, whatever university I decide to go to, right? Uh... Then I was like, you know what, let me go ahead and set an appointment for, oh wow, he made me go first? Ew. I don't want to go first. <laughs> I don't want to go first. I'll set this and then pass to you. <coughs> <coughs> you guys can't tell, I'm sick again. I know, Daniel always gets sick. Yeah, I do. For some reason. Uh, you can even hear it in my voice. Are we going against tunes? Yep. Yep. Great tunes. <laughs> We're going against tunes. This duel is going to be a annoying. <laughs> like, man, this duel is not going to be fun. I hate tunes. Like, they don't duel you. They literally just attack you directly. All right. So his tunes can't be destroyed, and I really can't do much right now. If I get another scale, no, if I didn't. <laughs> See, so if I get another scale, so even if I try to attack over him, I think I got to destroy the monster by battle. So, yeah, this duel is just going to be really boring, it's just going to be, every time I try to kill this Toon Rush, he's going to block, and then he's just going to attack me directly, like, I do not like Toons at all. Not at all, not at all. Anyway, so I was like, you know what, let's let me go ahead and set up an appointment with the counselor for the university, and see if we can get that done as well, so I guess I'll go ahead and send Despot 5, even though he'll just be like, oh, I can't be destroyed. Yeah. So, I do nothing, then he'll just be like attack, but tunes are just insufferable pieces of shit. Like, before fucking this, they, they weren't that unbearable. But now they are just unfucking bearable Like, I can't fucking kill you, and then instead of actually doing me and, and interacting with monsters, you're just gonna attack me directly. The tunes are just insufferable piece of shit. Then he puts all his cards back, like, alright. Another tune table, alright. Maybe I'll give him the benefit of the doubt, and maybe he'll actually duel me, but I seriously doubt it. No, no, he's just gonna fucking attack me directly. Tunes are so sacky. Like, they're like one of the sackiest decks in all of Yu-Gi-Oh. They're like Watts. They're better than Watts now, because they're protected by Kuna. Yeah, they are! You're not even dueling me! Yeah, they are! Not even dueling me. Just attack me directly. You're not you're, you're not even dueling me. You're literally just gonna attack me directly. Attack me directly. Attack me directly. Attack me directly. Like how how are they not sacky? They're literally just glorified watts. Like as soon as I saw the new tunes part, I was like, ew. No thank you. <laughs> just block your tunes from being destroyed, attack directly. Like how how is this interacting with your opponent? I'm gonna go get another duel, because obviously this guy's a fucking cunt, so be right back. Yeah, like, duel me. I'm doing this for entertainment sake. If this was a tournament setting and you were someone to be sacky to win, then more power to you, but oh, we're just playing for fun and you just want to get sacky. If you want to go ahead and play with yourself, then fucking just go ahead and sit in the corner and play solitary. I want to play some Yu-Gi-Oh! Kill my monsters, die with me. We'll use resources, like, ew. Alright, so, Magic Spectres or Infernoids? All that eight. Oh, yep. I mean, Magic Spectres. Cosmos. Yay, Cosmos! I already duel against Magic Spectres, so let's duel against fucking Cosmos. I was just saying, I can pendulum some, some bit. I mean, six not, I mean, five's not gonna get much use. <sighs> Alright, which one's the one that when it's summon I get a search? There's no summon I can special summon one Death Spot monster from my deck. 
Alright, well, I can infinity. I can totally infinity. Infinity is not bad. Infinity is not bad, so I'll go ahead and set up my scale, so... You... I mean, he's obviously gonna go ahead and hop out the way, so... That's gonna be annoying, to say the least. But you and you, I'll go ahead and... I can normal summon you, you get to search. I mean, you get to summon. I guess I'll go ahead and summon Despot 4, because Despot 4 can pretty much handle uh, any of these situations by simply just attacking over whoever. So, we'll go ahead and summon... I'll probably skip 4 like 20 times. So, I set up the counselor for the, the counselor meeting for that counselor, for the university counselor, you know, also, on the same day, about an hour later. I'm gonna summon you, special summon you, special summon you, even though I don't have any back row. And yes, I would like to get the search. No, I won't like pop. No. Uh, I guess go ahead and get me five. Like four and five are just great. I said I already know you're just gonna simply just hop out the way, so. I already normal summon. Alright, great. So he can just block himself in destruction. Oops. That's great. So, uh, so I'll go ahead and uh, come after you. And I'll go ahead and activate his own effect, targeting himself to get nice and beefy. You wanna hop out the way or you wanna drop yourself in destruction? Either or, I kinda messed that up. I was trying to go into like infinity and stuff, but I forgot I already normal summoned. I shouldn't have normal summoned. Actually, just Pendulum Summon searched, search this, and tribute it for this, and then Pendulum Summon this. No, you're gonna hop out the way. Just fine. Sure. I love the can replay the replay, replay the battle. Like, fuck it, why not? I'm gonna just summon a whole bunch of Cosmo monsters anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and build the best I can. So at least I really don't have to worry about farm girl. Like, not at all. <laughs> not at fucking all. <coughs> like hell yeah, I'll crash. Hack. Hack. I was thinking maybe hat on this. I thought I was kinda worried about. Like no, I still have my scale I still have my scale in my hand. So he thinks that he broke me, like not not even then. I still got tens in my hand. I can reset up my pendulum scale and it's still sitting you play. So I don't have to worry about farm girl. I don't have to worry about anybody attacking over me because I can just make him like soft super ass beefy. It's awesome. Like I missed my other scale. That's fine. Like sure. Just give me more. Well it's just a pendulum summon. These are both ten, so I guess I won't be pendulum summoning anymore or anytime soon, unless I draw one. So I was like, yo, I'm down there for college. Alright. Cosmo Town, that's fine. So I guess he's just gonna go ahead and uh and uh get one of his ships back. Yep, that's fine. So I don't know what you're gonna do with that farm girl, because I can activate this during the damage step or damage calculation and kill your farm girl, so. And you wanna be able to hop out the way, like you're just gonna get wrecked. No, not attack decoration. Yep, damage calculation. Great my effect, make you beefy, you die. <laughs> and you can't even hop out the way because that's during damage calc, so get wrecked! <laughs> ah! You're like, I'm gonna hop out the way, I'm gonna kill him? Like, no, 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 no. <laughs> ah, you wanna go ahead and scoop it up? Am I literally gonna be Mad Specters and Cosmos in the same fucking video? <laughs> that would be hilarious. Ooh, baby, I, I, can I trash you? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, I can't really trash. One, two, three. I can bark. Yeah, I can do a lot of things, but I, I can't trash. <laughs> but this spot one is actually going to be pretty beefy. It's actually going to be pretty beefcakes right now. So I'll go ahead and get you in. So do you have something to block my attack or something? I don't believe Cosmo's running anything like that. 
Nope, I won. I won. I beat the Cosmos and I beat the Spectres. Wow, that's... BEEFCAKE! <laughs> I might actually have to just finish talking, like, after I'm done building. I feel like I want to get one more duel in now. I feel like one more duel. So, yeah. Ugh. Oh, I've been so distracted by dueling that I'm not even telling my story or talking like I'm supposed to be doing. I apologize, people. It's really difficult. I'm not used to death spots like I should be at this point. So, since I'm not really used to them, I want to kind of focus on their plays and stuff. Which is not terrible. It's just another Cosmo deck. Or Saki deck, because there's no extra deck. So, which one is it? Cosmos or something Saki? I, I, these other death spots, like 7 and 8 and the upper ones, like I don't use them either. Like, Well, I can go ahead and summon my favorite death spot, so. Go ahead and summon death spot 3. Death spot 3. Go ahead and summon me death spot 2. Or I can summon death spot 1. I don't know. I don't know. At this point, I don't know what I'm facing, so. I guess I'll go ahead and summon death spot 2, get the search on, then I can try and modify my 3 into, uh. Uh, I have to transmodify my 3 into uh, 4, and of course, as you guys know, 4 is my favorite, so I'll just normal summon special, search, uh, I guess I can go ahead and search for like a 1, who's 1? Yeah, sure. And transmodify, someone in the comments section said, don't do transmodify, I like transmodify. That play right there that I just did right now, that's a good play, like, you, 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 <laughs> That's a good play, turning my freaking th three, summon two, get the surge, like, oh, you're just gonna scoop. That, that's boring, that's really boring, I really thought you were gonna duel me. <sighs> one more duel, one more, we are back. Alright, last duel, last duel, whether I win or lose or whatever, last duel. Am I going first or are you going first? I'm going first, fuck. <laughs> fuck. That's the worst, I, I don't like going first with Deathbox, like, not at all. Scale one, scale one. Mm. I don't even know if what I I don't even want to really reveal my deck. Fuck. You know what? I'm gonna try to bait him. I'm gonna try to bait him. So I'm gonna go ahead and special summon death spot too. Defense mode. <laughs> I'm gonna try to bait him by setting up my scales and seeing if he comes after my scales and not my back row because once again, no extra deck. I feel like he's using something sacky. So this is one, this is one. I'm gonna go ahead and search for this spot five. Damn, stop quitting! Oh my god, you know what? I'm done. I'm done. Let me just finish talking. Like, we got one more, at least one more video of that spot. Like, damn, like, at least reveal to me what deck you're playing. Like, it just quit. Like, I don't even get to see what deck they're playing. It just quit. Like, I was gonna set this, set this. You can show my scales. I get to search. Set the round of Cree, so. Yeah. Anyway, I was like, well, I got to go down to the college on Thursday, so uh, uh, I have an essay due, my final, pretty much, like an essay where I had to go visit the, a museum in Vegas, I went to the mom museum, not important, it was boring, and write an essay about it, so I can go ahead and write the essay, and take it down to the writing center, get it checked over, so that's good. And then I also had to do my education portfolio for my final education class at community college. So, I can go ahead and take that down to the Rhyme Center as well. So, more birds just dying with stone. Then I was like, you know what? Let me finish up everything when it comes to my history class and then take the books back. So, there we go. So, I literally just did all that in about an hour. So, visit my counselor, my uh, community college counselor, who's like, wow, your GPA is so good. You could like, go to like any college, any university. You can go to like Stanford or Harvard. I'm like, yeah, but I don't got that kind of money. <laughs> so, uh, this is actually like a a university, a private university I'm thinking about going to called National where they're doing like this accelerated education program where they cut out all the fluff, there's 19 classes I gotta take, I take one class per month, 19, so a little bit less than two years and I'll be done, I have my bachelor's and I can be a teacher. I can already be a substitute teacher at this point, but be a teacher teacher, so yeah. So, uh, my counselor was like, just give me the audit so I can go ahead and get my transcripts and send them to universities. In the time between the hour between my regular uh, community college counselor and then seeing the University of Las UNLV counselor, which I'm still debating I want to go to, but like I said, I'm thinking about going to National. Uh, they already audited and sent all my information to that counselor. So 
uh, I had like an hour before I saw that ca my, uh, the UNLV counselor, so I was like, yo, screw it. Went down to the writing center, got my essays checked, a couple of corrections here and there, punctuation, grammar, whatever. So those essays were nice and pristine and ready to be turned in. So uh, after that, I was, it was about time, that took about an hour for to just sit there and read my essays out loud, make corrections, both of them. Um, so I went to go see the UNLV counselor. Um, once again, they were like, yeah, we, you know, you're totally going to be accepted. So like, when do you want to join? And I was like, well, can I join this spring? They're like, nope. You know, uh, classes are closed. You cannot, you know, so you're going to miss a semester, which sucks though, because national, that starts in February. Like, bam, here we go. Well, you know, UNLV, the, the university here in my city, I got to wait all the way till fall. So that's just more of incentive. So she was like, well, you can go ahead and take like some obscure classes, you know. She's like, here are two classes that you can take and that will go ahead and transfer over to uh, your uh, bachelor's degree in front of univers university. So I was like, fine, whatever. So uh, she wrote down the classes. Uh, I'll continue the classes in a second. And I that, that meeting really, really took like less. I showed up like 15 minutes early and we were done by the time it was time for my employer. So like 15 minutes, so it was just quick in and out. So after that, I went, turned to my books. <laughs> this is actually a kind of funny story. I do not like reading. So when I first got my history book, I tried to read it, it got bored, and I threw it. And it actually got damaged in me throwing it. Then I returned it, and these were rentals. I don't even know why. I, I'm just kind of hot-headed like that. Uh, <laughs> they were like, oh, did you have a dog? Because it's kind of damaged here. I'm like, nope. And they're like, oh, okay, whatever. So I returned it. Uh, so that's pretty much done. I hopped in the car, drove home. Uh, First thing I did, make the corrections on my essays, turn them in. For my history essay, I got 100%. Like, I don't even think the teacher really even reads my work. Like, I'll kind of bullshit my work, and he'll be like, good job, whatever, you know? So, my class is done. I, the exams, I literally cheated on. Like, the last exam, the last exam was a struggle, because usually Renny helps me out. I'm on the computer, Google searching, and, you know, uh, having the book is on Google, but you can't really look at the book, but you can actually like search the book for the pages. So pretty much, it would ask me a question from the book. I would type in specific keywords. It would tell me page. I would tell Renny what page it's on. He would read it, give me the answer, right? That's usually, that's how it worked for like, the last three tests. And despite me not even reading the book and ready, and ready, Renny, ready, ready, speed reading. Uh, first exam, we got uh, a 90. And then the second, we got an 85. Third, we got a 95. So we were doing pretty well, right? But... I wanted to go ahead and get this done real quick and you know he was at his class and class stayed over he's late getting home so i was like screw it i gotta do it myself and i had to bust this out myself so i can go ahead and return these books so i tried to take the test myself it was like literally like the second time i cracked open the book but the majority of the questions were like really easy because you know it's nevada history so the, we're at the end of the book modern nevada so i've been here my entire life so i knew like the majority of them i mean some of them were like really easy like one of them was like blank the capital of nevada blah 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 blah, blah like carson city like like no that's easy i mean it should be las vegas but carson city you know it's like this uh uh this helped the politicalness in nevada and it was like one of them was like the gaming institute like duh like gaming nevada las vegas obviously and that was easy too so the majority of them were pretty easy uh so even without any help i got i still got 85 so that was done uh so I'm pretty much done with history class, like that is completely done, I got an A, yay, you know, higher GPA so I can go to the universities I'm not going to go to. You know, oh, I can go to Harvard, I can go to Stanford, no thank you, I'm good, I've got Harvard Stanford money, I'm broke as fuck. Even the national and the university is kind of expensive, they're like 1600 a class, like nigga, I don't even pay 1600 for my entire semester at community college, like oh my god, but, uh, you know, they're going to give me a lot of bonuses, they're like, well, you know, we'll do half on your first two classes and we'll completely pay your last two classes and... You know, we'll give you 15% off and we'll give you a whole bunch of scholarships. You know, you won't be in debt after you, we're done with us because, you know, we can't have you in debt. We really need teachers. We need to keep you. So, so that's done. Uh, I went ahead and finished up my uh, education portfolio. Uh, the education portfolio is like a really weird assignment where uh, you kind of type about all your experiences in your past few classes and, you know, you get all emotional with it. I'm the BS master, so I BS the shit out of that. Uh, and then you take all your major assignments from your previous education classes and you just slap it on the uh, in the portfolio. Ooh, hard. Uh, but 
I was like, one of the, I was like, one of the classes, my main, one of my major classes, didn't have the portfolios, like all any of my artifacts to put in the portfolio. And she was like, oh, it doesn't matter. I'm not gonna take off points. Like, so what's the point of putting in the fucking artifacts if you're not gonna take off points? It's so dumb. So I kind of just slapped that together, threw it, sent it to her, and you know, I got a fine grain on that. I mean, I got like 130 percent in her class because she gives me so much fucking extra credit that I can literally just not do the portfolio and still get a great, great, great grade in her class. So that's fine. So, yeah, I got A's in the semester, I'm pretty much done, and that's great, you know, I'm totally wrapped up. <laughs> I killed multiple birds for stone, and yeah, so I'm getting ready to go ahead and move on to a university, and you know, it's one class per month, it's probably going to be really rigorous, because, you know, they're trying to take an entire semester and squish it down to one, I mean, you know, one month, which is probably going to be a lot of work, but you know what, at least it's just going to be one class, it's not, at least it's not going to be multiple classes, because, you know, when you really think about it, multiple classes in one semester, or one class, or one class in one month, I mean, it's pretty much the same amount of work, so I'll be going to, uh, prepare to do that in, uh, February. Anyway, the classes that the UNLV counselor said, I went home, I came home, and I checked, one class they're not even offering this semester at community college, and the other one is completely closed, so like, oh, great. So, uh, instead of fucking up like this semester, where I didn't make myself a full-time student because I didn't think I need to ha I had to because I didn't have to take any more classes, really, um, and then my financial aid, they barely gave me any money, like, they barely gave me any money. Instead, I'm gonna go ahead and trick the system. I'm gonna go ahead and sign up to be a full-time student with bullshit-ass classes that I don't need or uh, will make it look like I want to just take it or improve my grades. Uh, of course, the financial aid will pay for those classes and then give me the remainder. Then, I go ahead and just drop the classes. They're all online, so it's not like I even have to show up. I drop the classes, and then I get refunded all the money. So I get all my financial aid money. I can pay off my credit card bills. I can go ahead and get ready to at least pay for the first semester of, uh, of the National University, and everything will be great. So, Because I get separate financial aid for university. So I might as well go ahead and milk my community college financial aid for what it's worth, right? Ah ha ha ha, trick in the system. Anyway, I'm done. So like I said, uh, next week will probably be maybe possibly the final uh, death spot because line up in uh, the 14th, Monday, December, that's when we're going to go ahead and, and, and enact the new lineup. So if death spots stay, then they stay. You know, they'll be on the polls, you guys vote for it, death spots stay, they stay. If not, whatever. I'm getting used to the deck, like I said. There's some death spots that I like. I mean, I like, I like five, I like four, three is good. Two is good. Transmodify helps them with the plays. One is good. But the bigger ones. I don't like six. Like six kind of won me that duel with the whole flipping thing. But no. I don't like six. I don't like seven. I don't like eight. Like, I don't care if they're on them. I don't like them. So, there you go. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And yeah, I will see you guys next week with the f hope, uh, no, possibly the final week of the current lineup of Daily Duels. Alright people, thanks for watching.